What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob Hollow Everest. Ooh, jaunty. Uh, we are here with a brand new game. We are going to try award winning Return of the Obra Din. I know about it. The ship went missing and was found several years later. So missing 1803, I think it said. Chief Inspector Insurance Claim London. The Oberden has returned, dispatched to Falmouth immediately, and prepare a full assessment from the Honorable East India Trading Company. According to the box, in 1802, the merchant ship Oberden set out from London for the Orient with over 200 tons of trade goods. Six months later, it had not met its rendezvous point at the Cape of Good Hope and was declared lost at sea. So Don't Falmouth, any man woke me up. 1807 is when it reappeared outside Said of Falmouth. you need ferry to the Old Inn. Not many eager for that job. Yeah, I got it. It's fine. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. <laughs> so I'm an insurance investigator. So I've been missing in 1802. Reappeared in 1807. Yeah, very unique art style. R3 and L2 and L1 are all zoom in. A was interact. An office. Or a little bunk. That was room I Oi! It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. A journal. Looks like a compass below. All right, I got a journal. I'm prepared for that. A catalog of adventure and tragedy, 1807. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the passage of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office Affairs in Morocco. 
the bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. The Journey. So the Cape of Good Hope in Africa. Past Cape Verde, the Canary Islands. Okay, setting out from England. The ship. Okay, let's start at the top deck, the main deck. Passengers' cabins and the captain's quarters. On the gun deck, midshipmen and stewards, third mate, first mate, second mate, fourth mate, bosun and bosun, bosun yet. The orlop deck, carpenter, gunner, port walk, passengers, pursuers. Crew, surgery, and the starboard walk. So those are all essential. Okay. The captain's cargo, small room, passenger cargo, bosun store, the lazarette, and the rest is just the cargo hold. Okay. A complete crew and passenger manifest. Ooh, and then what is the fate? So there were sixty crew. Someone was shot and... ES. Edward Spratt, artist. cargo. Cargo on the deck. The Memento Mortem. Remember death. I've heard of Memento Mori, which is like a remembrance of death. Something left behind. Memento Mori. Cargo on the deck is chapter one. So, loose cargo. On the cargo deck. So the very bottom, right? chair. I mean, if this boat has been at sea for nine years, that's, or five years, that's hardly a... Captain! Open the door! 
kick it in. Ah! Let's we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may taste exactly what I give you! So someone was shot by the captain. Wielded an axe. Okay, so someone was shot by Captain. I don't know what I'm gonna need. He wore a black coat. Wielded a hatchet. Alright. We have people running. So this is part of chapter 10. Who is this and how did they die? Kick it in. The unknown soul met an unknown fate. That's the guy with a knife in his mouth. Right here off the coast of the Azores and, and uh, Madeira. Well, this person was shot. We know that. With a gun. By the captain. That's all we know so far. So the mustachioed gentleman is the captain? is broken and barely held together. I mean, it held together for eight years, I will say, actually. But the cabin's door is open now. It was not open before. There's two bodies in here. And a knife. More than one knife.
That's one of the guys who was outside who was not shot, and the captain who cut his throat. Snuck around. That's what he was doing on the stairs. He was sneaking around the back. So he could come in here. Okay. I got it. I got you. That's the guy who was sneaking in the back. That's the guy who had his throat slit. Was knifed. And again, I'm going to assume by the captain. The gun was tossed aside. And this person lay dead. Was that the real captain, or was he... So is this the captain, or is this the man who tried to ambush him? in the cat in the uh there's a woman in the passenger's cabin okay third man bald knife in mouth Bashed in his skull by Captain. Did the tre the Captain throw treasure overboard? So a sick woman in bed in the passenger's cabin. was clubbed. Okay, 
Yeah, it was clubbed. Again, I don't know if that's actually the captain or if it's a new captain, so let's... Mm-hmm. Which means they can now be identified. Use the book and pocket watch to gather information to deduce the identity. Revisit, revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships. Use the book along with individual conversation logs to find out about it. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through process of elimination. Good luck. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. This soul appears in three memories. Oh, he was standing right beside the captain. So this guy was right next to captain. So could this have been the first mate? Or a one of the mates? And where exactly was this woman located? She was the dancing woman. This is a morbid game and I'm kinda digging it. She was the dancing woman. new body directly inside Abigail your brother my friend I shot him dead I'll be with you soon my love Please forgive me for everything. So the captain killed himself. So either this is Abigail or Abigail is somehow related to one of these three. We saw the moment of the captain's death. No one else was present.
This may or may not be be correct. Thank you, game. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates have the information typeset into the book. So all I know about is the captain shot his friend, who's Abigail's brother. Okay. All right. Something else we've learned. Four fates, but we have to fully, I guess, guess them all. R2 brings me back into what I just saw. Good. Good to know. Who are you, lady? Captain's wife. Oh no. Uh, what? What? Took a twist that I didn't see coming. So that's the captain's wife struck by a falling mast in Kraken attack. Chapter 7, The Doom. So 
that's so Martin was there. I'm assuming Martin was that gentleman next to her. So yeah, okay, that was Abigail Hoskett Whitrell, which means William Hoskett was shot by the captain. William Hoskett was the try guy trying to break down the door. So this guy was that guy was the first mate. William. And this was Abigail. Was crushed by falling rigging. 